As before we go ahead and begin the video, I want to take the time to say this. This is not something that has been added to Stick World Legacy right now. This is not something that they will add to Stick World Legacy. This is simply a new game mode. Basically an idea for a new game mode that I've come up with and I pretty much want to share it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. What's up everybody, SO7 here and today I want to talk about an idea that I've come up with for a possible new game mode for Stick World Legacy. And I'm saying possible because I have to somehow get this out to the developers and that's even if they can find the time to code this into the game. Because right now, if you don't know, the developers of Legacy are right now working on another game called Mini Legends. And after that, they're supposedly supposed to return to Stick Empires and fix that game up. But that's like a whole different story there. So I'm, I want to talk about this new game world that I come up with called the Gym Gambler System. Now this that I come up with is something that will hopefully encourage a lot more people to play the game because the rewards are going to be greater. And this game mode involves nothing but gems. So how the gym gambler system works is the initial starting cost is 300. You spend 300 gems to enter. It's pretty expensive because the rewards that come out are going to be amazing. Then once you bet that, you have to pick a game with one of the with one of the four pro players in Crown of an Immortal. And in case you guys didn't know, the four pro players in Crown of an Immortal are Crazy J, Wesley, Cyrus, and Z4CK. And you had to play four games against them. Now, with every game that you play, the amount of gems that are going you're going to be awarded start to increase by a lot. So let's say you win game one. If you win game one, then the amount of gems that are going to be awarded are going to be doubled. So from 300 gems to 600 gems just from playing the first game. All right, this giant's getting a little bit too close. Go ahead and get it out of here because he already has a magic. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. We'll kill the giant eventually. Um, anyways, then once we get to game two, if you win against game two, the amount of gems are doubled again. So now there are 1,200 gems sitting on the table. Then you move on to game three. If you play and win game three, your gems are doubled again. So now you're going from 1,200 gems to 2,400 gems on the table and then when you play against game four which is going to be the hardest game basically um this is what i'm hoping um the amount of gems you win are quadrupled so you're going from starting the game mode with 300 gems bet to possibly leaving with 9600 gems and what this what i hope you know will be promoted with this is um people will start using They'll start playing the game more but to earn a lot more gems quickly. Because in case, you know, a lot of people may not notice this, it is pretty challenging to earn uh, gems in Stick or Legacy. Besides the gem awards, obviously we know about the gem awards. Um, when you beat the game on normal, hard, and insane, you win some nice rewards from that. You win on normal, you receive... Um, uh, trying to kill this match actually really quick. There we go, we'll get that off the table real quick. I got, oh crap. Okay, we got the Spiritons off of us, but we got another one. But I'm thinking we're just gonna kill everything of Blake's right here. Nice, that worked out perfectly. Anyways, um, so that's pretty much how the gym gambler system works. You start by betting 300 gems, and if you win all four of the games versus the pro players, then you walk away with 9,600. And to prevent like some serious gym inflation, say it could be like this features every single week and you can, you know, skip it, but it's gonna cost like a lot of gems. Can't really throw in a ballpark figure here, but it should cost a lot. Same, same with the regular crown of Immortal. You gotta spend 179 gems to skip a three hour wait. It makes sense. Except for the gym gambler mode, it could be featured every week. And this will encourage people to use a lot more items in the shop. You know, these seriously expensive items. You know, summon the elite, uh, Griffin the Grey, sometimes even the Golden Spiriton. Many people choose to not go for these because, you know, they take too much out of you. You know, if I were to spend 500 gems right now, it really wouldn't be worth it. And I'll be down so much in gems. 
And that's pretty much it. That's the gym gambler game mode explained. And let's say you happen to lose all of those games. Then you pretty... Oh. Holy crap. I messed this up so badly. I thought we were playing Super Deathmatch. What game mode is this? Oh snap, it's Barricades. Oh, I completely screwed over. I was not even thinking about the game mode. And now we're going in with only Spear Tins and Magi Kill Upgrade. So this is going to be an interesting game twist. I mean, I still think we can pull a win, especially with the Magi Kill Avatar. So anyway, like I was saying before, this can encourage people to not only play the game more because they want to get those massive gym rewards, but also encourage people to use the high tier uh, items in the shop quicker. You know, people can afford these uh, these shop items without having to be completely cleaned of all the gems. She has an archer done, but not that it matters. I'm going to take out a lot of these miners here. Oh, I got the wrong guy at that. We're still going to force the mass garrison. And hopefully we can get him as I kill. It looks like, nope, we're not going to get it. We got to get another spirit. And that's fine. But yeah, that's pretty much the gym gambling mode. And let's say, and again, if you win, if you lose all the games, then you simply lose everything. But you only lose 300 gems. You're not losing, you know, 9,600. If you bet 300, but you lose all four of the games, you simply just don't, you simply lose 300 gems and that's it. Okay, he's trying to pick up a bunch of archers here. I forgot Willow's that kind of person, so we gotta shut that down. Except it's getting harder because I'm hitting units I don't want to hit. So look at that. Hit the statue. Then I hit a miner and it just didn't work out. But it's fine. We're still going to uh, kill our archers. And plus we have a magic kill loading. Alright, let's back up for right now because I'm not really certain this is going to work. So um, I want to hear you guys' opinions on the gem gamble mode. You think it's a... You know, a nice, good game mode. You think it sucks for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> really, it, really, I think it's pretty good. It can encourage a lot of my players to play the game. I forgot she was going to do that, but we should be able to survive it. If anything, we should only lose miners. Oh, yeah. So I imagine that kill didn't even get touched. So let's see if we can snipe with the magic kill. We got double the health, and that's a lot of archers she has. Kaboom! Look at that. It's nice. Which is a good thing, too, because all the spiritons went back to kill the miners. And we still won, even with the wrong upgrade. It's kind of hilarious. And also, with the uh, gem gambler system, the game modes pretty much apply to the same as Crown of Immortal. You know, first game can be deathmatch. Second game mode can be... Uh, Barricades, third classic, fourth super death match. It doesn't really matter. But the twist is, you're playing against the pro players, not the, you know, lower tier players like, uh, you know, Cruz and Maverick and stuff like that. You're playing against the pro players. So it's supposed to make it even harder. But again, the only problem with this is, I really don't know, even if we get the message out to the developers that we could use this game mode for the game. You know, are they really going to do it? And also, I really don't know how good they are at coding. Unlike me, I have no coding experience whatsoever. Plus, I have no control over this game. So, obviously, I can't add it in. But it's something that I hope for. And if the developers happen to come across this video, and they think it's an interesting thing, it would be nice to add it to the game. So, this is pretty much the gem game that I would explain right there. A nice way to earn tons of gems, and uh, you can just use them overall to the best of your ability. So anyways, back to the gameplay. We are playing it versus Cruz. I mean, not that it matters because um, he kind of sucks. They should have made it to where they can attack you on Classic. So we'll just build it up for right now. Without any problems. 
I don't know. I, I got a feeling that Spiritin should have been 600 because, you know, Spiritin starts are pretty powerful in Legacy, no matter what game you play. But it is a good thing for Ice Hills, the uh, campaign level, since they actually start with two Spiritins. Okay, he's gonna pick up an archer. Bad idea, because I'm gonna go for his miners now. That was not supposed to happen. So look at that. I threw this spear entirely by instant. That's how I'm so good at throwing it now. Excellent stuff on that Spiritin. Oh yeah, also another thing I wanted to talk about, me throwing the spear into the statue just reminded me about this. For the Gym Gambler mode, uh, Golden Spiritons, basically everything in the shop is disabled except for uh, Minor Hustle. And that way people won't, you know, try to cheat their way out of it by just taking a Golden Spiritin and insta-killing the statue with it. Since that is a thing, people actually tend to do that. Um, and uh, also, possibly make the statues even tougher. To the net is killed as easily. Overall, to make this a challenge, you have to earn the 9,600 gems. And here we go, game four against Cyrus, and it's super deathmatch. Still going to be a pretty massive challenge. But then again, with the Magic Kill Avatar, I think it's pretty impossible for him to get to us. Only thing is, we have to provide the protection for them. No, Spiritin's better. I will go for the Arctis, but we need that Spiritin for the damage. Oh, we got the spirit enough off that. Okay, I'm thinking let's just distract the sword wrath. Okay, giant. All right, let's see how are we doing. Oh yeah, it worked like a charm, man. We're destroying everything. Attack. Here we go. Here's the real battle. I'm actually gonna control the magic kill.
This is a pretty even standoff right now. Until that archer rank comes in, that's where things get deadly. My god, still going. I think our... But we're going to kill this giant pretty soon. He's not controlling that magic I killed, so it's better for us. And Kaboom wasn't too hard considering we're playing against Cyrus. Or no, not that, considering it's Super Deathmatch. And he's gonna get away with the match I killed, that's just nice. Alright, so that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. Pretty much me uh, showing out the new game mode that I hope will be added to Stick World Legacy. But again, not making any promises. And I will see you all in the next video. Spartans! Go! Spartans! Go!